Okay, so this is the second time I've tried this. First time I've started the music on. Let's move that out of the way. So, so um, skipping around a bit in the houses. Uh, today's is going to be my previous house, which. Oh, there's a mid terrace. Um, two up, two down. Um, I have a house with two up, two down as well. But, um, obviously, the one I've had in the middle was my parents' house. <coughs> and the first one that I remember living in. This one, as far as I know, I mean, yesterday's in Fleetwood was um, Victorian. Uh, this one was built around 1990, 1991. Um, it was relatively new at one point, according to the maps I looked at a few years ago. Um, Around the time that the house in Fleetwood was built, this was a fruit orchard. Um, I lived in this unit here, unit house. Um, which these days is looking a little bit worse for wear. More so for when we live there. Um, I mean, it's got all this grass in the gutter here, and uh, up here too. Um, it's a bit of a weird one because the neighbour's house stands proud. This neighbour here, I've not drawn her house yet. She was against her tenancy for the last two. She had, see, the tenancy said you could only have one pet. So we purposely, when I lived here, we have had one pet. Just one cat. Um, and he came with us from our previous house from two days ago and this neighbour was a bit special um, she kept ducks she had a parrot she had multiple cats and she had a dog which had tripped her up and broken her arm but, um, we actually lived in this house for nine years The kind of styling of this house is very similar to um, the previous one in on the lower lake estate. Um, it's kind of newer red brick. I'll come down. New red brick with these kind of grey patterns across here. Mm -hmm. um, when people came to visit us, they always thought we lived in quite a big house because they thought they couldn't see from north of this place because it's around the side. So they always assumed that. Uh, lived across both houses and uh, we didn't 
and it's a bit of a weird place where the house was as well. Um, it's a cul-de-sac off a cul-de-sac. So, we lived in this house, and there was a house on the cul-de-sac this house is off. That had the same number, and people would always try and deliver food to us late at night, <laughs> if you like 11 o'clock at night, and I'd be at work the next day, so i will go to bed. Be banging on the door. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, oh, oh. We've got your food. Doesn't order any food. What you want? Has to go back down that street. Back there. Tell them there's heat vents that don't even match uh, because we moved in. <clears throat> the boilers were either side of the front door and they put them upstairs in the bedroom um, but no one thought the smart thing to do would be to measure when they're putting the vents in the houses so there's a good 30-40 centimetres in real life between them and it just looks so So, we didn't have a garage, but this neighbour here had a garage, and we had a weird out of way. There was always a front room, because it was the landlord's job to trim it, and it was in the rental agreement. So, whereas they could get to theirs, we could um, it was frustrating at times. <laughs> but the lady who lived at this house was here the entire time we lived here and had been there as far as we could tell she didn't make a sense all the time she had lived in the house since it was built um, we moved in when my eldest was one years old So until we moved here, and then my youngest was born when we lived in this house too. So when we moved house, the kids had never remember to live anywhere else. It's a bit, a bit of a new one for them. And we went from, like I say, this two up, two down, where everything was in here. Two children. A couple hundred paintings. A couple hundred parts. Uh, and for quite a few years, uh, I had <coughs> two sheds in the back. And uh, they served as my pottery studio. And I used to paint sat like this at the computer desk, but the computer desk was tiny <laughs> and if I tried to put this kind of A3 cutting mat and board that got stuck together um, we would have it would have gotten beyond the realms of what desk space I had It was very, very tight living in there. But it was home for a long time. What's really weird is kind of 
back in the picture. It's from this year. So, um, it doesn't match my memory how it looked. It's like I say, it's got it's got tufts of grass and bits of which I had had at one point when we were living there. And I'd climbed a ladder and I'd pulled it out. But this neighbour here, she was always feeding the seagulls, so the seagulls would literally sit on the roof and poop all day. Um, and then in the evening, she'd either feed them an entire pack of mints, mince beef, um, Or a uh, whole chicken. So you've got these very, <coughs> very fat seagulls fighting with my increasingly fat cat who's getting fed. getting fed not only by us but we're getting fed by her and it didn't matter how much we fed him he uh, he'd always when it was about time for her to feed the seagull he'd always uh, rat in it as well um, which was hard work for us And when we moved here, it was old and confused and didn't quite understand why I wasn't living at home anymore. So we kept wandering off. Until one day, he kind of didn't come home. <coughs> we told the children um, that he was gone. And, uh, and a few weeks later, found a post on Facebook, does anybody know who's pregnant cat this is? I'm like, oh god, I'm like, it's not pregnant, it's a 14 year old male, he's just Going back, and it just kind of kept deteriorating. And it was kind of after the first lockdown. He was just kind of lying by his bowl, and he couldn't even be bothered getting up to eat anymore. He never knew what was wrong with him. I was like 14 years old. Turning into a sad story about my cat, right? Uh, but yeah, it's quite a happy house to live in at times. It always depended on whoever was the neighbour here, it was our first neighbour. He used to shout and scream day and night. Um, and eventually, she moved out. We had it with someone with the baby. Who have no idea if she's still living there. From pictures, I would guess so. Because nothing's changed on that side. I have no idea where my paint is. 
reason right here. Give me a minute. Got a paintbrush. This is the house that, you know, at night, I'll still wake up and be confused why I'm not there. And then remember that we moved out years ago. Particularly after weird dreams. You'll stumble into uh, you'll stumble into the wrong bit of furniture or into a wall going up. But yeah, this house is important. Many a time walked up to the beach. Especially with young babies that wouldn't sleep. It was the last time I was going to regularly make this room. Um, the current house I've never really had a usable workshop. Which is probably why I'm so excited to get one sorted. a cul-de-sac off a cul-de-sac, it's not the kind of place you accidentally go to. So most of the time it's really quiet and if a car came down here, you didn't know a car came down here. You'd be peeping out the kitchen window wondering who the hell had gone. Just to, you know, a place where I don't in the back door, more people thought, oh, why, why are they watching us? The locals. Whereas now, and it's taken a lot of getting used to. We live on kind of the main street through the town. So there's always cars going past, always people going past. Um, it took a long time to get used to the fact that there were always going to be people passing. And it didn't feel comfortable. What's really weird is that it's still got this weird wooden panels on the front of the house, which 
which was wrong when we moved it. I complained to the landlord so many times that they needed to replace it. <laughs> but it didn't. Did. Obviously, because it's still there today. They gave us. Yeah. Child attracted. Yeah, the, going back to the ducks, my children hated the noise of the ducks. They would quack all day and all night and complain to the neighbour. They simply said, the mute ducks don't quack. Oh. You can tell that to my ears then. This is landlord who doesn't care that the front property was rotten. was our home for a long time. I do kind of miss it. But where we live now is nicer, but more room. Um, end of terrace now, so you can't hear the neighbours very Ten more years. It was hard at times because it was small. I'll probably go back. Fact that we weren't rented this for so long, we were entitled. It's too small. And that's it. That's my old house. I'll have called a sack. I'll have called a sack. Otherwise known as a turning circle. Just seven houses on this street. Thank you. 